Happy Friday, oil traders. It's been an interesting uh, holiday week uh, following July 4th and Canada Day here up north. Um, so as, uh, as you can see, yesterday was uh, interesting after the EIA uh, came out. Um, it came out on Thursday because of the, uh, the holiday weekend uh, last weekend. And although we tried to go up, ultimately we dropped and it's been dropping ever since. Um, right now the bulls are in control and they're trying to climb out of the, the hole that was dug um, early morning, uh, early morning Eastern time. So uh, time of this big drop started 3 a.m. So that was the open in uh, Europe. So basically once Europe opened, it just started dropping. And right now they're trying to dig their way out of that hole. Um, as you can see, there's quite a bit of resistance at 4470-ish, 4470, 4480, um, that sort of level. Um, my gut is that we're not going to be able to climb back out of that. Um, I don't think we're going to see 45 today. That's my gut. Um, as you guys know, I've got uh, short positions from 45.30. I also have one at 44.12. Um, so today's low uh, of 44.06 actually put both my short positions in the black or in the green. Um, but both were profitable. And had we, um, it's now a quarter to 9 a.m. So we're still 45 minutes out from North American Open. And had we opened near the lows, I was contemplating taking, uh, selling both those short positions in anticipation of a bounce. And that's exactly the bounce that I would have liked to be able to participate in. Um, so given that we bounced without me, <laughs> without North America, um, I think I'm just gonna hold out and just wait. Um, I could, of course, sell the short from 45.30 but I don't think this rally holds, and I think ultimately Europe will retrace back down, maybe not to the lows of this morning, uh, but certainly lower than we are right now. Um, I don't think that the bulls have it in them to get us back over 45. And if they do, it's just more waiting, um, which I'm okay with. Uh, it's, not, it's not a huge profit that I'm risking um, right now, so, you know, it could go either way, but my feeling is we're going to go lower. So I'm just going to wait it out and see how it looks, um, you know, coming up to or shortly after 11.30 a.m. Eastern when your uh, European markets close. So that's, that's kind of my thinking, um, you know, whether I'm being patient or, you know, whether it's just greed, <laughs> take your pick, I guess. It sort of depends on how it actually ends up materializing um, and we can define it afterwards but uh, that's kind of where my instinct is and so I'm just going to follow my gut. Um, in any case, I mean it's nice to be able to say that you're in the profit and you have the option to take it or wait and I, at this point I think I'm going to wait. So we'll see. Um, I'd love to hear what you guys have planned for today. Um, we are finishing up the week this on, on uh, holiday week here, so uh, shoot me up down below on YouTube in the comments or over on tradingjournal.ca where you can find more info on my portfolio and trade details including charts. Uh, subscribe to stay tuned, give us a thumbs up, and I'll check back with you guys uh, near closing at 4 p.m. Eastern. Cheers. Good.